uh, creating an occupancy schedule. This is what I'm going to show you with steps here is very similar to creating any schedule in ARCHICAD uh, in terms of the steps. So what do we do first? As I mentioned earlier, first thing you want to do is to create a new schedule. So we're going to go down to the bottom here, go to new, and type in occupancy schedule. And as you can see here right now, we have no fields and no criteria. Once I do that, I then need to define the type of information I want to show in the schedule. So in this case, uh, it's an occupancy schedule. I'm going to draw the occupancy information from a zone. In ARCHICAD, the zones is what contains information about occupancy. So you want to go up to uh, element type here, choose element type. And then after you should say to choose element type, you want to go over here and choose zone. So now it's going to choose, uh, it's going to show all zones. And you could add another one in here, another criteria, for example, not to show, um, uh, uh, what would a good, good example be, uninhabitable space. So if you're using zones for uninhabitable space, that means it's not going to show any occupants in that space. And you could create one that's un, uh, that has a, a zone tag for uninhabitable space, as an example. Once you've done that, you want to then go in and actually add in the fields. To add fields in, you're going to click the Add Fields button down below here. That's going to get uh, pop up, and now it's going to show uh, general. So these are uh, types of fields that are available to any uh, uh, type of criteria. And then you're, um, and then that might be things like area, for example, that is available to any criteria. Zones are the type of fields that are available only to zones, right? So things like zone category, zone number, and zone name. And there's the occupancy, which, I'll sh which you know, we'll look at in a minute. Occupancy can be added in by uh, clicking on another button over here that says to, to uh, add in from a specific library part to, this, uh, uh, to the fields. And then, of course, you can also add in properties as we discussed before. Once you've added those in, you can drag those different fields uh, into the specific order that you want. All you need to do to, to change the order is simply click on the up and down arrow here and then move up or down based upon the order that you want those to be in your schedule. Once you've done that, you also need to define, uh, in this case, how you want the totals and subtotals to show. So do you want the category, for example, to show a sum? Do you want the occupancy to show a sum? Do you want the area to show a sum? And that's what this little icon uh, symbol here, that's actually for showing uh, a total sum or a subtotal uh, here. And uh, so you can click those on as well. Once you've done that, you click OK. And now you go to your schedule. You're now going to go to uh, uh, your schedules, go to occupancy calculation, which you just created. And you're going to open up that, that uh, uh, schedule. In that schedule, you're then going to see uh, if you've added in these different schedules or different fields or room number, in this case, zone number. By the way, when you add in those different fields, it's going to default with the name associated with that um, criteria or that field originally. So, it's like, for example, zone number, zone name. You probably don't want to have zone number and zone name as the actual name up top. So to change that, you simply click into this field inside of the schedule, not when you're creating the scheme settings. And inside the schedule, I can then type in and rename that from zone number to room number or zone name to room and, and so forth. So as you can start to make those um, categories named the way you want them to be named. If you want to show the actual occupancy as a headline, uh, as, as opposed to just a field to the side here. Then what you want to do again is click the show headline and that will show that as a uh, headline above each of the different areas. And then finally, the way that you pick that zone for that headline is that when you go to place a zone and you want to, you want to actually tag that zone to a specific area occupancy type, what you're going to want to do is go to your categories, and this assumes that you have created categories that are reflective of the types of zones you're trying to track, or I should say the types of occupancy types you're trying to track. But you can go into your um, 
Uh, if you go into your open your zone settings, you can then add in uh, uh, custom zone settings such as uh, assembly A1, assembly A2, business B, educational E, etc., and give them colors if you'd like, uh, and unique colors. And once you've done that, those can then be associated within your zone settings as a specific occupancy type. And then, of course, you can begin to uh, define the occupancy name, uh, or should the room name, room number. Uh, but then you can also turn on uh, to define occupancy by area, and that will then show that information uh, as well. So that is our tip of the week. Let's get into.